Hi, this is Curly No Kyojin. My name is Shirin and welcome to the Ramadan in Kobe, Japan series. So some of you may know, some of you may not, Ramadan is a very important holy month in Islam. People start preparing for it even before it starts. Most people only know that it involves fasting, but there's so much more to it than that. So over the course of this series, I hope to enlighten you a little bit more about Ramadan. I will be posting regular Japan related content on Saturday, so look forward to that. If you like Boku no Hero Academia, then you'll really like this next one. So subscribe and tune in. So quick breakdown. Ramadan is a month long, it happens every year, but the date changes every year because it's based on the lunar calendar, which means it's based on the cycles of the moon. So of course the most known fact about Ramadan is that you fast, so you don't eat or drink from dawn until sunset. But that's not all. So you're not supposed to swear, you're not supposed to gossip, you're not supposed to lie, you're not supposed to steal, you're supposed to abstain from just general bad behavior. Now of course you're supposed to do this all year round. Give me your purse! Oh my god, but it's Ramadan! Oh, okay. See you next month. Okay, thanks. Wait, what? It doesn't mean that you should be committing all these things throughout the year and then you stop during Ramadan. It's kind of like, think of it like Mother's Day where, you know, you're supposed to show your mother love all year and you're supposed to be good to your mother all year, but on Mother's Day, you give her a little extra love. It's a perfect time to break bad habits just because you're doing it as a community. So you know that other people are also going through this with you. It's much easier to do stuff with a support system. Think of it like New Year's resolutions, but actually do it. The idea is that you spend this month being extra mindful of your actions and your thoughts and you use this time to do a little more spiritual reflection or just self-reflection in general and recenter yourself. Although fasting can be difficult, it's nothing compared to what many people go through all day, all year round. So at sunset, you get to break your fast and you get to eat, but many people don't. So Ramadan is also a time to reconnect with our community and help those who need it. Again, you should be doing this all year round. Of course, not all people can fast. So if you're breastfeeding, if you're menstruating, if you're pregnant, if you're a child, if you're an elderly, if you're sick, nobody is forcing you to do this if you are physically incapable. This fever won't break. Throwing up all day. So dehydrated. Water. It's Ramadan! So one meal a day might seem like it's less food than we're supposed to eat. That's why you're also supposed to have a pre-dawn meal called suhoor. So families will get up together and eat a small meal together or a hearty meal depending on, you know, your diet before going back to bed and then waking up again a couple of hours later. I remember when I was a little girl, suhoor was my favorite part of Ramadan because I felt so cool waking up in the middle of the night just so I could eat. <laughs> now I wake up and I want to cry. So, you know, life changes you. So the breaking of the fast is called iftar, it happens at sunset. This is a time when families have huge gatherings and break fast together. Many people go and pray at the mosque together as well. But because of the pandemic, many communities have had to adapt and find new ways to stay connected while emphasizing safety. But for Alex and I, in addition to the pandemic, we're also in a foreign country. So I want to show you what Ramadan looks like in Kobe, Japan. In this video, we'll be going to Japan's first mosque, which happens to be in Kobe. Then we'll take a look at the halal grocery stores where I get my spices and imported goods. And then we'll wrap up with a quick look at our first iftar together here. I hope you enjoy this. And if you have any questions or comments about what you want to see next, please let me know in the comments below. This is the first part of a five part series. So please subscribe and tune in next time. A 20 minute walk from Motomachi Station gets us to Kobe Mosque, the first mosque in all of Japan. A thank you to the Imam, the one who leads the prayers for welcoming us and answering our questions. The mosque was built in 1935. The original structure is still standing despite bombings in World War II destroying almost all of the buildings around it, as well as the devastating Great Hanshin earthquake in 1995. In Kobe, there are many Muslim communities from different parts of the world. Before Covid, the mosque held many events like serving dinner for iftar and social gatherings to discuss the teachings of the religion. Now, they focus on offering the Muslim community a safe place to pray and an outlet for the stresses of daily life, especially amidst a pandemic. Right across the street from the mosque is Kitano Groceries. They specialize in halal foods and it's one of the places I get my spices and imported goods.
Just a few steps away is Kobe Halal Food, another grocery store that specializes in halal foods and spices. So they do have a lot of similar items, but depending on what you're looking for, you might find something at one that you won't find at the other. So I always check both. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. That said, these places do not sell fresh produce, so I usually get the rest of my groceries from a regular supermarket. Now, this isn't a recipe video, so I won't be showing you the steps to everything I'm making, but if that's something you're interested in, please let me know in the comments below. A traditional iftar will consist of breaking fast with some dates and water. You'll always have a soup, you'll always have a salad, and then you'll have your main meal as well. So for our first iftar, I made a chicken corn soup, I made fatouche, even though I found no parsley anywhere, so it's a bootleg fatouche. I made batata hara, which is spicy potatoes, and I cooked up some shrimp with some summa and other spices. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, tell me why not in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.